Bam, Boogie right. Bam Bam coming round the band. This Boogie Bam Bam. This Boogie Bam Bam. Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends. Thanks so much for dropping by the Horror Zone channel. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, today's video is a spooky screenings. Um, this is something that uh, is not new. It's not in the movie theaters. This is an older movie. Um, this movie came out in 1971, November of 1971. And it was a movie that I've always wanted to watch. I remember um, back in the 80s when Fatal Attraction came out. Um, of course, the Michael Douglas, uh, Glenn Close, Adrian Lyne movie uh, that, you know, really, you know, made an impact. Um, my mom told me about this movie with Clint Eastwood called Play Misty for Me. And um, I had always wanted to watch it. And lately, I've just been really getting into older films, like films from the 60s and 70s. I just really miss the simplicity of older films. So I hope everyone enjoys this uh, spooky screenings on Play Misty for Me, and here we go. Play Misty for Me is a 1971 American psychological thriller directed by and starring Clint Eastwood in his directorial debut. Jessica Walter and Donna Mills co-star. The screenplay was written by regular... Eastwood collaborators Joe Hems and Don Reisner uh, follows a radio disc jockey played by Eastwood who is being stalked by an obsessed female fan. So what did I think of Play Misty for me? I actually really, really loved it. And again, I love um, the look of this film, the fact that it was shot in Monterey and Carmel, places that I've been to, that I've stayed at before. Um, really, really cool seeing these places, you know, in the early 70s. Um, also, I think uh, for his directorial debut, uh, Clint Eastwood just did a, a marvelous job, a fantastic job. There's some terrific shots in this film. And the guy is just, he's an amazing uh, auteur. I, I absolutely just adore and respect him so much. Um, also, I just love the, the storyline. When you get to, like, when you, the comparisons, you know, uh, to Fatal Attraction, which I'm sure people have done, even though this movie came out, you know, 17 years before it. Um, with Fatal Attraction, you have Dan and Alex having an affair. Dan has an affair with Alex. Dan is a married man. He has an affair with Alex. And the repercussions of that sort of spill over into his life. And it's almost like he, he deserves what he gets in some regards. Because, number one, I hate cheaters. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I've never, as much as I love Michael Douglas, I hated that character in Fatal Attraction. Um, I just hated what he did. He cheated on his beautiful wife, played by Ann Archer. And then that nightmare and, and, and the amazing uh, Glenn Close in that film, who still gives me chills when I watch that film, her portrayal as Alex, and as she gets more and more, you know, just, you know, infatuated and, and psychotic, uh, it just, it's so compelling and so well done but in this film it's a much different scenario it's almost like you know david is a disc jockey um the character of evelyn calls into his radio show and always says play misty for me they happen to hook up at a bar they have a night together and she develops this infatuation with him and will not leave him alone and you really feel for the david character because you know, he's trying to get back with his ex, uh, the character that Donna Mills plays, uh, the Toby character. So you have that going on. And all the while, he's also trying to do other things, you know, related to his radio show. And this woman, Evelyn, just will not leave him alone. And as it goes, she gets even more and more insane. It starts to get very, very um, uncomfortable uh, and deadly at some points and very, very violent. And I was shocked at how far some moments in this film went it's it's a very disturbing film and there's some very scary moments in it and i think again clint eastwood is fantastic not only behind the camera but in front of the camera playing the character of david you understand what he's going through and you feel for him uh maybe he doesn't handle everything perfectly but again this is a 70s male and uh you know this is a man from the 70s it's not from today some people might be put off by that but at the same time i feel like he held he handled himself as best as he could even though there's so many times you just want him to just like try to get away from her but in moments where he's torn about sort of you know breaking it off and he feels guilty and i just felt like he really had a lot of layers to his performance in this jessica walter as evelyn though um absolutely is terrifying she rivals uh glenn close for me in fatal attraction in a very different way this character is so unhinged and when she goes nuts it's it's so big and it's so in your face and um it's it's like but she has this balance where can she can be really sweet and silly but it, it where she can be sweet and kind of silly and then she's just sort of this over the top insanity um in some of the scenes where she confronts david about things or she thinks he's cheating on her and confronts the people he's with and 
And there's a really good twist at the end that I didn't see coming. And uh, it's a brilliant film. And I love, like I said, just the, the way it looks, the way it's shot. I love the ending of it. It really got me. And uh, I still remember my mom telling me about that movie when I was a kid. She always said, oh, play Misty for me. And uh, that that movie had freaked her out. And, um, you know, when Fatal Attraction came out, she brought that up and told me about it when I was a kid. But I didn't get to see it until just now. But, yes, it's a movie I want to own in my collection. I don't own it. Yet. And I do recommend it to people. Um, I'm just on this Clint Eastwood kick right now. I just watched Escape from Alcatraz as well. And then I'm diving into all the Dirty Harry movies. I just love the guy. I've always been a fan of his. Um, in the Line of Fire is one of my favorite movies that he's done. I also love Gran Torino. Um, he's just an amazing, amazing director, amazing filmmaker, writer, musician. Can't say enough great things about the guy. And uh, just during this sort of dull period with regards to movies that are being released wide um, in theaters and on demand, I just, I'm bored. I want to go back and watch some of the stuff that was gritty and for adults and not a bunch of special effects. I just want to see good storytelling and good acting. And Play Misty for me really gave me that in spades. I loved it, and I cannot wait to watch it again. And I'm curious if anybody else has seen the film. If you have seen the film, please leave me uh, your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you're a fan of it. Again, I like it, it, it just as much as Fatal Attraction, just in a different way. But oh, having only watched it once, I can't wait to revisit it. And some of the images that I that um, occur in that film have stayed with me since i watched it about a week ago so thanks so much everyone for watching i hope everyone enjoyed this video um i promise there's some really good stuff coming up very soon working on some different stuff trying to keep the channel keeping a video or two here every week as i work on my book just just focusing on the book it was just i felt off i felt like i i need to get back uh in front of the camera and do some stuff here too because i just feel like it's a disservice to people that have subscribed to the channel and it just sort of helps me with my creative flow when i'm uh doing video content as well so thanks so much everyone for watching i hope everyone's doing well talk to you again real soon take it easy stay scared as always Hey, my fellow Fright Fiends, I just want to thank everyone for supporting Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. If you haven't yet subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe button down below. Click the bell notification so you're updated every time I drop a new video. I try to drop a video at least once or twice a week. Uh, the Horror Zone is a passion of mine, and it really makes me happy that I can share that passion with all of you guys. Thanks so much again for the support, and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take it easy. Stay scared as always.